What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have something really cool planned out. Today we have a dope ass match that we're going to be running today. Yesterday I was sitting there with the kids watching uh, some movies and I happened to be thinking about, you know, what are we going to do or what are we going to upload for the next video for the channel? And it so happened that at the same time, a good friend of mine called and he was a range instructor at the range that we actively shoot at and he says hey matt what would you be interested in shooting a two gun match with us today i said say less i'm there so that's exactly what we're doing today today we get to shoot a two gun match at the range and uh it's been a little while since we did so but it's great to get out great to compete a little bit and we're gonna have some fun but first what we're gonna do is we're gonna run through the weapons that i'm gonna be taking out what what, what uh, ammunition that we're going to be shooting and just our loadout today and what we're going to be taking to the range just so we're prepared so we don't have any malfunctions or issues now yesterday and the day before i did happen to come down into the gun room and clean the particular two guns that we will be shooting today so that's already done don't have to worry about that so let's get to the build out all right guys so the first thing we're going to be shooting we have our carbine air precision lower fully modded out we got the trigicon optics on here this wasn't a recent video so you've seen it before you know we have the surefire warden you know front comp on there blast mitigation device so this is our build out might be crazy might be not a little too crazy great rifle all right Here's the pistol that we'll be shooting today. And if you've seen the other videos, then you've seen this Gucci Glock fully modded out. Glock 17 Gen 4 with the compensated front uh, barrel. We have the Trigicon RMR optic on there. And it's perfect for running these matches. All right, so for the ammo, we do have 223 Remington. This is the PMC bronze 55 grain full metal jacket. And for the 9mm, we will be running just the basic Winchester 115 grain 9mm full metal jacket ammunition. Again, pretty decent ammo. Never had an issue with it. And we'll just sprinkle a little of that. So when we go to these matches, I don't like to carry a lot of stuff other than, you know, the, the absolutely what I need to do the match. So the only other thing that I like to carry with me, and this is a military uh, edition or issue. Uh, this is an M4 AR-15, you know, cleaning kit, all-in-one pack uh, from Otis. Now, this has everything that I need if I have, uh, you know, I just cleaned it, so I'm not going to have any issues, hopefully. But... If I need to, everything's all in one. And it's pretty important if you just bring a quick cleaning kit, if you have any issues, you know, with carbon build up really quick and you know, you just clean it out. All right, and that's gonna cover everything that we're gonna take with us to the range today. The only thing we didn't cover is the ears and the eyes. And that's gonna cover it up. So let's cut the bullshit and let's get to the range. what's going on guys we're back at the range now and i'm standing here with dave which is the match director for today and what he's going to do is just give us a quick rundown of everything that we have going on today we have like six courses set up today yeah there's have? six stages in this match yep okay well this is dave he's going to tell you what we got going on today and uh, give you a quick rundown we can't go over everything because we'll be here forever but quick rundown right to the point and let's get at it yeah, so uh, this is actually stage two in the match. This is kind of a classic, uh, what we call more of an open world type stage. Um, basically, the shooter, uh, this is the fault zone. So the shooter is going to walk in there, uh, starting anywhere in this zone. Um, and they'll have the option at that point to shoot either pistol or rifle first. Okay, so in a stage like this, it's kind of up to the shooter. Um, the shooters like having options sometimes in an open world match like this or, or open world stage like this. So... Um, obviously I think there's right ways and wrong ways to shoot it, but you let them figure out what's the most efficient. So, um, if we take a walk down here, I'll show you. So these are called pistol dumps. Uh, this is where you would abandon the pistol after you, uh, use it. So, um, when you're done with that part of the mat, uh, part of the stage, you'll throw that in there. 
and then uh, charge your rifle because the rifle in this match, what makes two gun unique is that it's always slung. So they don't uh, pick it up or abandon it. It's always on them. So after they abandon that pistol, they'll charge their rifle and then they'll start engaging the paper. And typically in your, your uh, close quarter style stages where you have targets up close, most of your rifle work is going to be done on paper, obviously, because the pistol steel at these distances, it's, it's going to damage the steel. So typically the way I make it work, I divide it out, is most of your stages are going to be, when they're in this type of environment, your pistols, targets are all going to be on the steel, and then your paper targets will be rifle. So as you can see, as you move, targets start opening up and disappearing, and that's kind of the idea. So... Um, right now I can hit these two, but I can't hit that paper, right? So you'd have to maybe make movement, get over here and engage that. And that's kind of how, uh, an open world type stage like this works. So, um, they're super popular. I always try to throw in one sort of what I call open world stage in, in every match. Um, and then a lot of the other ones will be, you know, you may start with the rifle, like in this next stage we go to, I'll show you there. You're going to actually have to engage a plate rack first with the rifle. Um, before making your way down to the pistol path. So just different ways of laying it out and the courses of fire, when they read these stages, they'll know exactly what they got to do based on that description. Um, so that's pretty much it for this stage. It's a lot of fun. These are super popular. Uh, I ran the Collis North American two gun series here for a couple years and probably one of my best, uh, most popular matches that I've, I've had here at Peacemaker. Get her ready. Stand by. All right, guys, so this is stage three, and we're going to go, Dave is going to give us a run through on this one. Yeah, so right here, you've got a shooting box, and basically, so this basically defines the area that the shooter is going to begin this course of fire. Um, you can see down there that there's a plate rack, and that plate rack will be engaged from this box with their rifle, and then they have a, a series of three paper targets as well as part of this rifle component to this uh, stage. Um, you'll notice there's a blue barrel there. That's supposed to be hardcover. And in the course of fire, they had to do headshots only on that paper. The idea was, is there's enough hardcover there. They got to get that head. Obviously, you see a little more of the torso. I I did that because basically if I don't put it a little bit above there, I'm going to get that barrel just completely Swiss cheesed out by the end of the match shot only. Um, so what they do is after that, they would um, strip the mag, empty the chamber out. And then uh, with that rifle still slung, they usually will throw it back kind of ninja scabbard style and they'll head right on down to that pistol path and um, they'll engage these uh, knockoffs. I usually like to break them up a little bit. I'll put some barrels there. It just keeps them moving and shooting. And then they'll run down here to this path uh, at the end and engage that uh, mini mag star. Um, and then the static steel um, with two hits each on static. That's worked out really well in this match. I like using a fair amount of the static. You can up the round counts a little bit and it lowers the reset time. So you always wanna keep that in mind when you're doing these matches, making the match flow as best as possible. A little less reset makes it great. Um, competitors seem to love it. And this is a great tip too. If if you guys aren't just competing in a match at a, at a specific location or your, right. your local range, this is something that you could utilize with your buddies if you guys get together and do stuff. Some of these tips are absolutely perfect. You know, the transition between, you know, the drop-offs to the bag, mm -hmm. um, to these uh, static standing targets and stuff like that. One big thing is they don't like when you shoot them with rifle ammunition. <laughs>
<laughs> as you can see from the past videos, it's, they don't uh, they don't like to stand up to rifle ammunition. The steel will, but uh, yeah, Mike shooting the the two by fours, it doesn't really work that well. So yeah, it's pretty destructive on that. All right, here we are. Now, technically, this is stage one. Yeah. First thing we did was stage two, and then That's we went right. to three, and then this is one. But um, so this course is what? So this is uh, what we like to call a jungle run. Um, so there are a couple things that are a little bit different about a jungle run. Obviously, you're not in a bay that's nice and flat. Um, I do try to rake some of the extra leaves and stuff out of there just because people are running with guns. But um, there's certainly trip hazards you can't avoid, roots and things like that, right? So proper foot placement at all times becomes more of an issue in here. And then... Again, some things are similar because it's a two-gun match. You're going to have some similarities to other stages. Like, for example, uh, you can see there's some static steel down here worked into the woods right here. So they would basically start with their pistol. They draw it out. Two hits on all this uh, static. They're going to move down. You can see I kind of cut off so that they can't really get to this last. See, by the time I get to this last, uh, or I guess you say first knockoff right here, Two of my static have already disappeared, so I right. can't I can't really engage every the idea is to kind of keep them moving, right? So they'll engage these knockoffs right in here, and then they'll head up to this path. By that point, they'll abandon that pistol, of course, and they'll head up here, charge their rifle. I call it my red dawn stage. I have a lot of, I have a lot of fun. I, I I cut little trimmings of pines and, and grass and whatever I can, and I'll kind of just go through and camouflage targets. Yeah, we can and, see here you got it set up yeah. right here. Yeah, and I usually, believe it or not, you do this, and it's kind of fun because you'll pick up what we call failures to engage, FTEs, where they'll just run by really fast, yeah, miss a target, you know, and then, oh, man, I blasted right past that Right. One. So they'll run down here. You can see this is a whole paper run. They kind of come along this uh, meandering trail, if you will. And uh, right down here is a little more paper, right? See, as it, it's... And the course of fire will say engage the targets as they become visible, and it's literally just that. So as they're becoming visible, which would have been just up there, they'd engage those papers. They come down to this barrel, and they've got to engage that long-range auto popper. That first one's at 99 yards. The second one is at 111, and then the last one is at 148 yards. And they have to engage one of the BCs, which are those silhouette targets. They'll have to engage one of those offhand, so they won't be allowed to use the barrel for support. All right, here we are. We got the long range set up here now. This is range five, right? This is stage five, stage yep. Five. All right, cool. And this is what we got going on. So what we got is uh, a barricade. Um, what they're gonna do, it's a little easier to show you if I'm a little closer to it. Um, there's a start box and what they do is they're gonna make movement into this confined uh, border right here, right? And what that does is, is it's just, just far enough back from this wall that they're gonna have to basically work both sides. So they'll get this this array of paper with pistol. We'll have to come over to this side and engage this one, the reholster, and they'll run down over to this VTAC. And there's some targets out there. Um, this first array, one, two, and three, they're between 90 and about 140, 150 yards or so, right? And then, um, all the way out there is a far 460 yard target and that's number four there but for this match they're just shooting that that number four to, to complete this course of fire and the distance of that was well, 460 say, yards 460 yeah. yeah so we shot about 500 yards with iron sights in the marine corps so yeah this should be easy right yeah no problem no sweat okay right? sweat. no sweat so here we go stage six the last final one for this yep and again very simple, uh, you know, you wanna make the long range side shine and you also have to factor in that it's gonna take more time, right? When you're starting to go out further distances. So, um, unfortunately I didn't have it reset, but <laughs> there was five hoppers over there. So anyway, you're gonna start in that shooting box. You're gonna engage the static steel with two hits, move to the second box where you would engage those five poppers. I should have had them set up. Um, like you said, you want to keep it natural and, and unrehearsed. There you yeah, go. Yeah, it doesn't matter, man. We don't rehearse anything. We We're just film and shoot. Pistol. Head over here to the first uh, uh, shooting barricade, which is this barrel. Um, 
and they're gonna engage targets A, B, and then C, which is a full-size IPSC at about 430 yards. Kind of required in the course of fires to use this barrel, right, to engage, but then you're not done yet because now you gotta go over here and re-engage A, B, and C. So your last shot was at 400, right? Now you gotta redial back to go back to A, B, and then back out again. All so. Right. Um, it's just making movement and re-engaging, and, and that was what kind of completed this stage. Again, simple. The round counts here are like 21 compared to like the 30 plus and some yeah. of the others, and that's because they're going to burn up a good bit more time, depending. I mean, sometimes you got a guy that'll smoke it with first round impacts, but they're kind of like few and far between. Most guys oh, are starting gosh, to get yeah. some more shots off than that. So, so that's a quick... Quick, I don't know if it's a quick, but <laughs> fairly quick run through of what we got today. All six courses running today. And um, like I said, there's a lot of people out here. So uh, filming in between getting, trying to get, you know, different courses, everything covered is, is kind of difficult, especially, you know, running it alone. But uh, we're going to get some shooting in there and we're going to have a good time. Sounds good. All right. Shooter, understand the course of fire. Shooter ready. Stand by. Yep. Shooter ready. Stand by. Shooter understand his course of fire. Shooter does. Is the shooter ready? Shooter's ready. Stand by. Sir. Shooter's ready? Sir. Stand by.
Yeah. Stand by. All right, and we just got back. We are just unpacking now. It is 21.36, or for you civilians, it's 9.36. And it's very late, exhausted. As you can see, my eyes are probably shot. I need coffee even to stay awake from this point on. The, um, the rifle ran amazingly today. The pistol had one malfunction. That was a failure to feed. First malfunction I've ever had with the pistol, so we'll let it slide. Um, other than that, met some amazing people today. A lot of great people that I would consider friends. Uh, the gun community is always amazing. Every time we go to a match or to a range or something like that, the people are just overwhelmingly awesome. I mean, so with that being said, I mean, if you guys want to go out and compete, it's not just for people that are, you know, experienced shooters. If you're new or if you have experience, go out, join a match, go out, have fun. I mean, everybody's out there to help each other. And, you know, the camaraderie within it is awesome. So, unfortunately, we didn't get to shoot all of the matches because there was just so many competitors. But, you know, we did able to get a couple, um, you know, at least course two and course one um, in this segment today. But again, I want to thank you guys for stopping by, watching this video. A big shout out to everybody that has subscribed so far. You guys are amazing. I really appreciate it. And we awesome. We keep it going. Hit the thumbs up button. Like all the videos. Comment on all the videos. If you guys have questions, comment below. We're always engaging with the audience. But until next time, you guys stay awesome and stay 2A. This is Matt from Ford Assist. We're out.